Very eerie opening to FFC3. Yes, welcome to the townhouse in Hamilton. I'm Steph Lack. I'm joined as ever by David Bateman on commentary here tonight for FFC3. First fight is going to be James Allen of Next Generation in Northern Ireland up against Scott Mulgrew, a guy we know very well. James Allen is a fighter with a one in one record, describes himself as a freestyle fighter. And um, we'll, we'll let him make his way to the cage and then we'll just get chatting about Scott Mulgrew, who we know an awful lot about, David. Yeah, Scott Mulgrew is a great fighter. This bout set to be refereed by the handsome and ever-talented Jay Furness of your MMA. An 8 and one fighter, I think he's got his record right, 8 and 2 maybe. Top ranked featherweight in the UK. He's here as part of the MMA officials team. Very experienced set of officials at every level in the UK. And it's a great venue, David, isn't it? I mean, the, the ring, uh, the cage is in the centre of this venue, with the tables behind us, and the the seating, the tiered seating above us. It looks fantastic. Give you an indication as to what a good card this is that Scott Mulgrew is the opening fight. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a hell of a card. Yeah, Scott Mulgrew, a very experienced fighter, formerly the Lions Den, now moved over to the D unit, one of the branches of the Dinky Ninjas, Scotland's premier fight team, and arguably one of the premier fight teams in the UK as well. D unit branch, of course, home to John Nicholson, the head coach there, very experienced, been around since MMA's beginning, really, in the UK. Also got Alan Johnson, who's fighting this very same night and made for the cage. Believe for a title down there. John Quinn, Gary Ward, a bunch of really talented fighters coming out of the D unit. John Cullen, who's fighting next week up in Aberdeen at Immortals, of course, is also a D unit guy. So he's had some great sparring partners and training partners, does Scott Mulgrew. Um, and we've seen a definite improvement in him since he, he moved, made his way across the D unit from the Lions Den. And that's um, not to say anything un uh, unkind about Lions Den, but a D unit, the guy, kind of guys that you're fighting and training with all the time. I mean, it just, it's a different world, presumably. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's no insult to Lions Den to say it's a completely different level. You know, the, the D unit is a, a UK level of, of opposition, of, of training partner. It's a really, really fantastic gym there. Looks in really good shape. And we'll hand over to our MC, Stuart Allen.
no prizes for who has the most supporters in the room tonight. Yeah, he's, he's sh shifted a few tickets, I think, as old Scott Mulgrew. He'll be <laughs> gutted that he's the first fight on having sold that many tickets. Never know, he could make this quite work and go and get himself a beer with his pals. So FFC3 is officially underway. Here we go, round one. Decent straight right there. Yeah, James Allen certainly trying to get off the mark quick. Oh, he's caught with the right. He's definitely rocking with that right hand. Yeah, another straight right there. Same shot every time there's getting through. Looking for the guillotine, Mulgrew, but he's right up in the air there and straight into side control for James Allen. Very slow start for Mulgrew here, unusually. Yeah, James Allen was quite, quite clever there and kind of making sure he went down into side control, which means obviously you're never going to finish a guillotine from there. He's traversed him beautifully. Absolutely lovely sweep there. Explosive use of the hips from Scott Mulgrew. It's quite clever for Mulgrew because although he wasn't going to finish that choke, he did hold on to the neck just enough to make him think about it. And now he's laying on the ground and pounding. This could be over very shortly. He's got one hook in there. Doesn't seem like he's looking for the other hook though. I think he's more concerned with the ground and pound rather than looking for any sort of submission from the back. Good defence from James Allen to get himself to the cage. Needs yeah, to try yeah. and press his back to the cage though. He looked in a bit of trouble for a second there, but as you say, he's done alright to get himself back up and give himself a fighting chance of getting out of this position. And he's fighting the hands now, but I think Mulgrew's got the body lock and will probably take this back to the floor. Oh, he's got a standing oh. arm triangle there. That is uncomfortable at the very least for James Allen. And he looks like he's in trouble. Yeah, he's Mulgrew is squeezing this. hard. He's not quite got it locked in the bicep at the moment. Nice he's tap, got it though. anyway. Got Great it. display of strength from Scott Mulgrew to get the finish. That's a really impressive finish because he did get caught with the right hand there. And, and you know that could have put a lot of guys off their stride. Not a problem at all for Scott Mulgrew. <laughs> and he looks out goes wild. Him. There you see his great corner team come around, he's got Gary Ward, John Quinn and John Cullen. Couldn't ask for better corner men than that really. They've kept him calm and composed and he's got a great victory there. Yeah, Quinn and Cullen in your corner, that must be quite nice, hey, let's be honest. Those kind of guys giving you instructions, you can't beat that. But Mulgrew didn't need an awful lot of help there tonight, did very, very well. Overcame a little bit of adversity early on. Went for the choke, didn't come off from and reversed the position really, really sweetly and that, from there it was all over. It was only a matter of time. Mulgrew moves to 10, 4, 0 and 1. One of the most experienced C-class amateur fighters, arguably in the UK, really. An awful lot of fights behind him. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we can show you once again for both these warriors.